Hello, hello, hello. And this is Faith Manifest with Andrea. Sounding the alarm. Day 18. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love, your grace, and for your mercy. We thank you for this moment in time because through it, your power and glory are being shown. Father God, hear our words on today. Hear our petitions on today. Hear our supplications on today, Father God. Hear, O oh Lord, and answer from heaven, Father God. Send forth your war angels, your archangels, to battle in the heavenlies on our behalf. Hear our praise and worship on today. You are our God and we're your people. We love you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. You are our God and we're your people. We honor you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. You are the great I am. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God Almighty, Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, author and finisher of our faith. You are everything. Everything begins and ends with you. And we say we love you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Father God, clothe us in the armor of God. We put on the armor of God on today from the top of our heads to the sole of our feet. Front to back, side to side, we put on your armor. We pick up our sword and we go to war. Cover us in the blood of Jesus. Cover our spouses in the blood of Jesus. Cover our children in the blood of Jesus. Cover our destinies in the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus sever our past from our future. Let the blood of Jesus cover us from any attack and counterattacks from our enemies. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus be upon us today, Father. The blood of Jesus. Let's pray Psalm 45. Our heart overflows with a good thing. We address this psalm to our king. Our tongue is like a pen of a skillful writer. We're giving God his praise. You are fair to the sons of men. Graciousness is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword on your thigh, almighty one, in your splendor and your majesty, and in your majesty ride on triumphantly for the cause of truth and humility and righteousness. Let your right hand guide you to awesome things. Your arrows are sharp. The people's nations fall under you, Lord. Your arrows pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. Your throne, O oh God, is forever and ever. The scepter of rightness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you above your companies with the oil of jubilation. Father God, anoint us and all, anoint us with the oil of jubilation. Let all our garments be fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia. From every place the string instruments have made you glad. Kings, daughters are among your noble ladies. Father God, let our children be royalty, royal seed, the royal priesthood. At your right hand stands the queen in gold from Ophir. Here, O daughter, consider and incline your ear to our instruction. Forget your people and your father's house. Then the king will desire your beauty. Anything outside of God, y'all, we put it down on today. Because he is your Lord, bow down and honor him. The daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. The rich among the people will seek your favor. Glorious is the king's daughter within the palace. Her robes are interwoven with gold. She will be brought to the king in embroidered garments. The virgins, her companions. Thank you, Father. Follow her. Will be brought to you, Father. With gladness and rejoicing will they be led. They were entered into the king's palace, and place of your fathers will be your sons, and you should make princes in all the land. This is a prayer. It's a prayer of joy, rejoicing joy. It's also proclaiming things. The king is getting married, right? And it's saying this union is going to produce kings and queens, princes and princesses, okay? A godly husband and a godly wife coming together is a power couple. And from that union brings a godly seed of sons and daughters, royalty, royal priesthood. We will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, the people will praise and give thanks forever and ever. Thank you, Father. Father God, we've lift up marriages to you right now. Father God, bless the marriages right now, Father God. Draw the husbands back to the wife. Draw the wives back to the husbands. Let the wives respect and honor the husbands. Let the husbands love and cherish the wives. 
Let there be sweetness back in the marriages, Father God. Let the bitterness and unforgiveness be released. Let the wounds be healed, Father God. Let the hearts be healed. Let the minds be healed, Father God. Draw them closer and close together, Father God. A threefold cord is not easily broken. Father God, let them invite you into their marriages on today, Lord. We pray for every couple getting married on today. We pray for every couple that got married last week, last year. We pray for every couple that's soon to be married, Father God. Bless these marriages as they take a stand for you, Lord. Husband and wife, man and woman, Father God. Let their marriages honor you. Let their marriages bring you glory. And let your presence, favor, and glory be shown in their marriages. In our marriages. Bless those unions with children, Father God. Children are a reward or a blessing from God. Bless those marriages with children lord bless the barren wife to have a child lord in the name of jesus and then give them the means to take care of those children father god let it not be a struggle let the financial burdens be lifted off these homes father god as they live for you father god do a new thing in their lives lord let people see what it truly means to have a husband and wife that love God, living together, loving each other. Let this be the foundation that the community and society is built on. Let this be the foundation that family is built on as you ordained it from the beginning, from Genesis, from Adam and Eve. You are our God and we're your people. Let the strange woman and the strange man receive fire from God today. Let every ungodly soul tie be broken by fire today in the name of Jesus. Get out that marriage, strange woman. Get out that marriage, strange man. Anyone doing witchcraft against the family, let your spells, incantations come back on you in the name of Jesus. Because your word says, Lord, that you will bless those that bless us and curse those that curse us. So anybody doing witchcraft or any type of incantation spells against these families, against these marriages, they have received warning today. The very foundations of their houses shake. The very evil altars they're working at break into half. The candles they're burning bust. The cauldrons, the black pots, they're boiling, bust and rupture. You shall cause no more harm in the name of Jesus. You shall cause no more harm. Everything that you have done against marriages now be reversed in the name of Jesus. And these marriages shall spring forth with love, joy, peace, and happiness, prosperity, and wealth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus be upon these marriages. The blood of Jesus sanctify these marriages. The blood of Jesus cleanse these marriages. The blood of Jesus cleanse the marital bed. The blood of Jesus be upon these homes. The land. The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. God, the refuge of his people, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, mighty and impenetrable, a very present and well-proved help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth should change and though the mountains be shaken and slip into the heart of the seas, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble and its roar and Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Yes, Lord, the holy dwelling place of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when the morning dawns. dawns. Yes, Lord. The nation made an uproar. The kingdoms tottered and were moved. He raised his voice and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold, our refuge, our tower. Selah. Pause and think on that. Come behold the works of the Lord, who has wrought desolations and wonders in this earth. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and bow in pieces and snaps the spear in two. That means our enemies can't even shoot us because God has broken their bows and arrows. He burns their chariots with fires. Be still and know, recognize and understand that he is Lord, that I am is God. He will be exalted among the nations. He will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold, our refuge, our high tower. Selah, pause and think on that deeply. Psalm 47. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Praise God. Shout to the God with the voice of triumph 
and songs of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared and worshiped with all inspired reverence and obedience. He is a great king over all the earth. He subdues people under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory and excellence of Jacob, whom he loves. Selah. Pause and think of that. God has ascended among shouting. The Lord with a sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises in a skillful song and with understanding. Know how to praise God. Just praise him for who he is and what he's done. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have gathered together as the people of the God of Abraham. Yes, you are our God. For the shields of the earth belong to God. And he is highly exalted. Lord, we thank you for showing us in the Psalms how to pray, how to praise, and how to worship you. David would worship you for the good and the bad. He would tell you you are his strength. Lord, we just say thank you for teaching us how to pray, teaching us how to worship, teaching us to go in your word, your will, and your way. You are our God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we say thank you. Thank you for sounding the alarm this month. Thank you for sounding the alarm this week. Thank you for sounding the alarm today, Lord. We hear the alarm and we are sound. We are coming. We are rising to the cause. Lord, bruise the head of every serpent that will attack our lives, our spouses, our children, our marriages in the name of Jesus. Punish the piercing serpent in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke any serpent that will try to deceive us. We release the God, the rod of God to swallow up every serpent that will come against us in the name of Jesus. Protect us from fiery serpents. We bind and rebuke every serpent that will try to twist or coil around our lives in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke every python that will try to squeeze out our prayer life in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke every cobra that will come against us in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke every cockatrice that will come against us in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke every flying spirit serpent that would attack our lives in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke every sea serpent that would attack our lives in the name of Jesus. We have authority to tread upon serpents, Luke 10 and 19. We are believers and we pick up serpents and it shall cause us no harm, Mark 16 and 18. Let the fire of God drive out every serpent from our lives, Acts 28 and 3. And we cast out every viper that would operate in our lives in the name of Jesus. And the previous prayers that I read were scriptures and I didn't call them out, but you can go back 2 Corinthians 11 and 3, Exodus 7 and 12. Deuteronomy 8, 15, Isaiah 14 and 29, Isaiah 27 and 1. Father God, we bind and rebuke bears above the Lord of the flies in the name of Jesus, Matthew 12 and 24. We bind and cast out all flies that would attempt to affect our anointing in the name of Jesus, Ecclesiastes 10 and 1. Is you shall not spoil our anointing, but our anointing shall get better and better, increase, increase, and flow more and more in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke any swarm of flies that will come against us in the name of Jesus. Psalm 78 and 45. No flies can live in our lives in the name of Jesus. Exodus 8 and 21. We renounce and loose ourselves from any spiritual garbage that would attract flies in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every fly and every bee that will come upon our land in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 7 and 18. We are delivered from the wild beasts of the desert. Isaiah 34 and 14. We rebuke the jackals that would attack our lives, city, or nation in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the night wolves that would attack our lives, city, or nation in the name of Jesus. Habakkuk 1 and 8. We rebuke every goat spirit upon Pan, Fon, and Satyr in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the wildcats, the lepers, the lions, the jaguars, which represent higher occultic powers that would attack our lives, city, or nation in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke the hyenas that would attack our lives, our husbands, our children, our cities, our nations in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 34 and 14. We rebuke and bind, we bind every wild dog representing false religion, witchcraft, and perversion that would have hound our lives in the name of Jesus. Psalm 22 and 16. We bind and rebuke the bulls representing strong rebellion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 22 and 12. And we command our fox, foxes that will destroy our fruit, 
to leave our lives now in the name of Jesus. Everything God says we're supposed to have, we shall have. Every crop that we plant, we shall reap the harvest. Every seed that we sow, we will reap a hundred times what each seed it was supposed to bring. And in this year, in the name of Jesus, exactly how Isaac did. Read the word of God, y'all. Know what God has said in his word. The word said that when Isaac sowed into the land, every seed that he sowed reaped a hundred times each seed. You hear that? One seed was supposed to re represent one plant. But God blessed him. The blessings of Abraham was so heavily upon Isaac that one seed produced a hundred plants. One seed produced a hundred times what it was supposed to represent or produce. So, Father God, we pray the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob upon our lives on today. That every seed that we sow reaps a hundred times the harvest in the name of Jesus. And we shall see it this year. We shall see it this year in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And Lord, we say thank you. Father God, if we're dreaming of any of these animals that we just prayed against, Father God, we bind those demons, those devils, those witches and warlocks now in the name of Jesus, and you shall call us no harm. You shall not attack us in our dreams any longer. Our dreams, our minds, our sleep is washed in the blood of Jesus. And you shall cause us no harm. But now demons, devils, witches, warlocks, you be troubled in your sleep. You be troubled in your dreams. Because God says, bless those that bless us and curse those that curse us. So you are cursed with a curse because you're doing a complete rebellion to God. And you're coming against his anointed. The word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So those that hear this word and still choose to come against God's anointed and come against God's prophets, you are cursed with a curse until you turn and repent of your ways. The fire of God fall heavily from, from heaven today and touch you. And Father God, we thank you for today that as we build God altars for you, that the fire of heaven comes and set our altars ablaze. The fire on our altars are more powerful, more stronger, and more hotter than any other altar in this land. The blood of Jesus on our altars is more powerful than any other blood in this land, any other altar. And Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you. Nothing of the enemy can penetrate the blood of Jesus. And we wash ourselves, our families, our spouses, our children in the blood of Jesus, our homes, our land, our vehicles in the blood of Jesus, our destinies, our wealth, our health, our finances in the blood of Jesus. And Lord, we say thank you. Father God, dispatch your angels to enforce in the spiritual realm, from the spiritual realm to the physical realm, all that we're praying today. Activate your angels to minister to us even on today, Lord. And Father God, we say thank you. And Father God, we say thank you. And Father God, we say thank you. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the restored marriages. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the provision. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your light. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, his name and his blood. Thank you for the angels. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Most of God, most of all, oh God, we thank you for you. We love you, Lord. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we're praying to you today. You are our God and our God alone. And we love you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. And we magnify you, Lord. You are our God. And we are your people. And that settles it all. And we say, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for praying with me today. Let's keep pressing. Let's go forward. This is Faith Manifested with Andrea. Sound of the alarm, day 18. I pray you were blessed. Love you all. Have a blessed day.